Hello everybody, I am Joe Pro, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Challenge Edition. Today we will be beginning Chapter 8 of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, and it's gonna be really, 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 really scary. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what items I'm gonna be starting Chapter 8 with that I'll be fighting the uh, first little bosses with. I'll be having Shooting Star, Boost Sheet, Mini Man, you, I mean you can see everything here. Uh, but the most interesting thing is the Trial Stew, which I will be saving hopefully for battle with Gloomtail. I may have to backtrack back out of um, the Palace of Shadow before fighting Gloomtail to get some more items. And of course, I'll definitely have to backtrack back out to get more items for Bowser and the Shadow Queen and all that. Wait, no, I can't even show you what I have in storage because I can't withdraw anything because my items are full. So just trust me though, I have like uh, 20 booze sheets in there. I have uh, two more trial stews. I have some slow shrooms and all sorts of good stuff that'll be very important. Yeah, so basically anytime I need to come get more items, uh, whether it be healing items or booze sheets, all I gotta do is come back to Rogueport and go to the little uh, shop that's down here in the sewers and then I should be good to go and I'll just have to walk back. But I have plenty of stuff so I shouldn't have to do any more shopping. It took me like over an hour to make all the trial stews and collect that many booze sheets and and go to all the shops around the entire game so but I uh, stored everything up so we have like 32 good items available also of note is that yeah I know you can go in the pit of 100 trials and get the strange sack which allows me to hold 20 items and that would really help me with this game because the only way I'm gonna beat the game is with items uh, since I can't use anything else basically but I've decided I'm not gonna do that partially because I don't want to I don't feel like spending the time to do that and the other reason the main reason is that would make the game a lot easier because I could just hold 20 boost sheets and of course I'm gonna beat the Shadow Queen with 20 boost sheets the whole point is resource management though if I can only hold 10 items you know I might not want to use 10 boost sheets I might want to use like seven so that I can have you know some healing stuff for my partners and whatnot uh, maybe a trial stew or something so and with seven boost sheets, it's going to be really tough to still beat the Shadow Queen, I think. Um, that's like 14 turns where Mario doesn't get damage, but then like it takes a turn to put the boost sheet on. So in the grand scheme of things, I think it's still going to be a really hard battle, even with like six or seven boost sheets. But with 20, yeah, I mean, it'd be too easy. So that's kind of an unofficial rule that I'm going to add is uh, no strange sack. So no 20 items. We're at a maximum of 10 items. And that is my final decision. Oh uh, yeah, and we're on chapter 8. So that's great. I expect this chapter to be 4 episodes, which means the finale of the series should be episode 25 if all goes according to plan. The spooky palace of shadow! I just got another stopwatch. Dang it. Is it worth getting rid of something? Yeah... Sorry. I know the Mr. Softeners don't matter for the Shadow Sirens fight, but I kind of wanted them for, uh, what's it called, for a gloom tail. So, um, I need to switch my partners before I get messed up. Let's have Vivian out. I'm not even going to hit this because I just have to throw away whatever it is. I'll get it later when I backtrack out of here. Also, I hear the golden cannons, I think. I thought they were later. Or am I imagining it? I don't know. I hear them. I hear those stupid cannons that are going to give me trouble, I'm sure. All right, let's uh, switch back over to Bob. Bob. Bobbery. And let's go for it. Let's go. Hurry up. Oh, dang it. Whatever, it's fine. Piece of cake. They're gone. Whoa. I don't know. I wasn't. Uh, that was crazy. Oh, Bobbery can't even hurt these things. Uh, yikes. Their defense is super high. I think it's like defense four. Yeah, that's great. So, I guess I'm just gonna take the easy way out and go ahead and art attack them. Yeah, I think so. What a. S this chapter's so cool. It's like all pretty and stuff. Like all the carpet and furnishings everywhere. It's so nice. Wee! <laughs> that was close too. 
So how are you guys doing today? Oh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, so I'm like, how are you guys doing today? And immediately throw a bomb at you. Hope you appreciated that. Let those who would disturb her sleep fall into the depths of endless darkness. Guys, I am so nervous to fight the Shadow Queen. And Gloomtail. How am I supposed to beat Gloomtail? How am I supposed to beat the Shadow Queen? Gloomtail pierces everything. He has two defenses. Attack power will kill Mario with one hit. So, like, I don't know what to do. Okay. <laughs> Should we just art attack again? I, I can't use my shooting star. I gotta save that. Um, and it's gonna take way too long to take out all these people. So, let's go for that fancy smancy art attack once more. Well, that's not good. I literally circled all of them like three times and then circled the blue guy like five times. And they're almost all still alive. I mean, Bobbery will kill the front guy, I assume, but Mario can't be in the front and take all those attacks. There's no way. And like, yeah, I guess he probably could block all but the blue one, but... Uh... Oh, no. I could use shooting... Star. I guess I'll just use shooting star. It just means I won't have it now for the dupless fight unless I backtrack back out of here, and I don't want to do that. Wow, that was a lot. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of star points. I didn't know it was that much. Okay. Well, so the only bad thing that happened was I lost my shooting star. Hopefully, there's another item coming up that can replace it. Oh, yeah, an item. I don't care about that item. But, whatever. I guess I'll have it. Oh, oh. Okay, we're gonna switch to Vivian and, and hide. Quickly! No! 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 What the heck? <sighs> you see, I had gotten really lucky earlier in the game. So I thought my luck would continue. It didn't. It did not. And by lucky earlier in the game, I mean when um, when I switched to Vivian at the last second and hid from the thingy. That's what I mean. All right, let's be extra careful not to die here again. That was awful. I ended up having to use Star again after, after all that anyways, but whatever. It's okay. I forgive you, Mario. Be careful now. Don't want to get into a fight with a bully you can't beat, which is pretty much everybody at this point. If I get hit by one of these guys, first strike, it's game over. So I'm being extra cautious. Okay, here we go again. Alright, so I'm in the maze now, and I just gotta say, every time I beat a boss and I gotta backtrack back to Rogueport to get items, it is going to be so tedious. But I, I gotta, because there's, unlike in the first game, which has a, um... It has a uh, shop in Bowser's Castle where I can withdraw items. I can't do that in this game. And so there's no shops in Chapter 8. So I'd have to go all the way back out every single time. But hey, that's part of the challenge edition is I need those items. So I have to, I have to leave after each boss fight. At long last, we are at the Tower of Riddles. Thank goodness, a break from the fighting. Truthfully, this is one of my favorite parts of the entire game, especially the first time I played it. I was like, whoa, these riddles are so cool. I was amazed. <laughs> and it's like so mysterious and the music is so cool. I love it. And then there's the fact that the second line of each riddle makes like this um, creepy poem. I love it. I love it. So I'm doing that part where you have to take out the dry bones in the correct order and I'm a little nervous, especially about the blue one. Who's gonna be the next one? But even this one, like, I don't know if this is gonna kill him. Uh, nope, it didn't. So he better not attack Mario or I'm dead. Good. Thank you for being generous to me. <sighs> guys have like 10 health, it's crazy. The blue one, yeah, is gonna give me some trouble for sure. At least, oh, great. <laughs> and I didn't even get a first strike on him because he was right there waiting for me. Okay, um, well, let's go ahead and bomb him with Bombery. And I got plenty of star power, so, uh, yeah, I don't want to risk anything. 
So I'm just gonna use Art Attack on him. <laughs> 15 plus, he already had like two. Oh, I could have done more. Hey everybody, I'm back. I went ahead and got all of the keys from inside the Tower of Riddles. Of course, I can't do anything with them until I go fight uh, Gloomtail and Duplis and Marilyn and Beldum. Alright, so here we go. Um, I do only have four of my eight star power. There's really nothing I can do about that. I mean, I could backtrack and level up. Mm, yeah, but if I don't do that, then it means that after I beat these guys, I'll level up. So I'll have full star power for Gloomtail. And that's more important to me. So, yeah, I'm just going to go in with four star power and hope for the best. I'm still going to try not to use that stew. What the blazes am I talking about? We don't fight them first. I'm an idiot. We fight Gloomtail first. We fight Gloomtail, and then after the the road, the hallway lowers, then we fight the Shadow Sirens and Dupless. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm so dumb. Okay, well, in that case, um, yeah, we still should have enough items, but... Oh, that's scary. We're fighting Gloomtail this episode? Holy crap. Um, okay, as far as leveling up in that case... Ooh, yeah, I probably should go in with eight. Mm, yeah, because I'm going to backtrack after that, so I can always take a nap and get healed back up. So, yeah. I need to go ahead and level up now. Um, but fighting one of these guys is not going to be good for doing that. I guess if I use star power, I should be alright. So let's just fight this guy right here. Come here, man. Fight me. Is he dead? Nope, he's alive. And he duplicated himself. Wonderful. Oh, look at that. The burn killed him. Well, that saved me a bunch of trouble. I hope I can actually level up before I get to Gloomtail. That, that's kind of important. <laughs> yeah, my hammer hardly even hurts these guys. And I know Vivian's not going to really hurt them. And we're very close to leveling up. Need one more battle. Okay, so Gloomtail's not on the other side of this door, right? There's one more hallway, right? Okay, good. That would have been suicide. Who's going to fight me in this hallway? Anybody? Anybody? Nobody? Oh, crap. Uh, is there another hallway? Is there? One more hallway? No, I don't want to risk that. This is such a fiasco. Yikes, how am I going to beat one of these chain chomps? I don't have anything to work with. Alright, they're gone. Level up. Thank you for the level up. And we're getting close to that uh, A-list star that we need to get to before the Shadow Queen. Getting some lag here. Power Punch, that could be kind of helpful. Yeah, let's get rid of Jam and Jelly. Yeah, so as it turns out, there was another hallway. And there was enemies to fight, so I didn't have to go fight the Chain Chomps. But it might have been okay that I did, because those embers might have been kind of hard to beat. Yeah, but it totally makes sense that there's a save block here and everything. Uh, I am going to use Vivian to start with. I might switch to Bobbery if I decide to waste a turn doing that. Especially once Vivian's health gets low, which will be after like one turn. But I am going to start with Vivian. So here we go, guys. We're gonna fight Gloomtail. It's gonna be great. This is gonna be great. You destroyed my precious younger sister. I wondered why she hadn't written recently. Quake and fear, mortals, for I am Gloomtail. I will avenge my sister by taking your lives and then gnawing on your bones. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. I feel wonderful right now. I don't think I'm gonna win this. I made a few changes. For one, I went and got I went all the way back to Rogueport, which meant I had to backtrack and I had to fight those stupid cannons again because they responded. Or respawn, not responded. What am I talking about? So I got two more boost sheets and I got an extra trial stew. And yeah, so hopefully things go better. I also am starting with Bobbery this time since he has a little more health. So we're gonna start off using the same tactic as before, but this time I'm gonna go ahead and use Supernova right off the bat and then i'm gonna put mario in front and use boost sheet so that way hopefully he takes the brunt of the damage we're gonna start off with supernova all right got the 15 and now using boost sheet on mario it's probably gonna blow fire we better block this nope okay now instead of using star power again 
I want to use the Power Punch and Mr. Softener combo. So we're going to go ahead and use um, Mr. Softener on Gloomtail now. Did not work. That's bad. We're going to use it again. Because this is critical. It worked. Great. And messed up that block again. It's alright. Bobbery's hanging in there. Okay. Now we're going to have Bobbery go in the front. And he's going to be sacrificing himself. But he's going to be giving Power Punch to Mario. Wait a second. Hold on. No, that's not a good idea. He just needs to go for the attack because even if I give Mario a power punch, Mario has to use a boost sheet on himself. Well, so I guess Bobbery should use the boost sheet on Mario and then Mario should attack. Eh, it doesn't really matter which order we do it in. Yeah, let's just go ahead and use boost sheet on Mario and then Mario... Should I attack or should I go ahead and use power punch so that next time I can do some real good damage? But then I'm going to have to change my partner next time. So that wouldn't make much sense. So we're just going to use... We're just going to go ahead and attack with spin jump. Got it. That's nine. Sorry, Bobbery. I... He still has no defense, so we're just going to do the same thing again. He's in an earthquake but it does no damage. That's good. Now is where this is going to start getting hard. Um, we're going to switch out to Vivian. And then Vivian has to use our third boost sheet on Mario. All right, please block. Okay, I got it that time. Fantastic. Okay. Now, um, Vivian is going to go in front. And she's going to use Power Punch on Mario. And then Mario's, now that uh, Gloomtail has his defense back, Mario's just going to go for a hammer uh, since I'm out of FP anyways. And that should do pretty good amount. Six, I believe. Yep. Okay. Oh, and this is good. Maybe Vivian won't even get hit. Oh, she got hit, but I blocked it, so we're all right. All right, he's halfway down. He has 39 health left. The best thing would be for Mario to attack. Of course, he may miss the attack. Vivian might as well. So this is some kind of bad RNG here. Um, I could also not use that boost sheet because I could chance that Gloomtail will miss the attack. Not a very good strat to use, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and have Vivian use boost sheet on Mario. That's the last one, by the way. Mario will use Earth Tremor. That way, we're guaranteed some damage. All right, got it all the way, so that should do six. And hopefully now Gloomtail's gonna miss his next attack. Hopefully the fog stays. Please miss. Uh... Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Okay, we're in business now. Okay, so Mario's still going to be safe for the next attack. Um, so in that case, we should go ahead and use... Yeah, definitely... Well, he still has the extra damage, so I kind of like to not use the star power yet that Trial Stew will give me. However, I might as well go ahead and at least um, reward it to myself, right? Or I could use Vivian to attack, but then she's going to die. And once Vivian's dead, uh, yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and put Mario in front since he's going to be safe. And he still has the extra damage, so let's go ahead and use that right now. And that'll give us six more. Okay. Awesome. Alright, so he should be down to only 27 dam- 20, he has 27 health left if I'm keeping track properly. Um... So, at this point, I can use Trial Stew, because if I don't, then yeah, I'll be screwed up. Or maybe I should just change my partner. Or I could hope that she doesn't get attacked, because if I use Trial Stew, then Mario will be able to use Supernova, but he'll still lose on his after his next attack. 
Um, if I swap to like Miss Mouse, then I can have her use Trial Stew on the next turn. Yeah, this is gonna be tight, guys. This is gonna be really close still. Yeah, I think we just need to use Trial Stew. And then we need to hope that Vivian doesn't get attacked here. Because I can't waste the turn to switch her out. Um, Cause then, yeah, then whoever I switch her to could use Trial Stew on the next turn and Mario could attack, but then Mario's gonna die. So essentially I have to finish uh, Gloomtail off on my next turn. Uh, I don't even know how that's gonna be possible. Hopefully Gloomtail will charge or something on this turn. So we're just gonna go and use Trial Stew right now. Okay, that's good. But he's gonna charge, right? What's he gonna do? Yep, okay. So, all right, um, hmm. Yeah, I could have veiled, now I can't because I just used Trial Stew and I lost that flower power. Mario definitely needs to go for Supernova here. He has no way to hide from the next attack though. So basically I need to hope it misses or I need to try to use stopwatch. Let's go ahead and use Supernova now and then we'll continue after that. All right, so he has 12, dam 12 health left. There's a chance that he'll miss me because of the fog. And so essentially I just have to hope for that because there's no way for me to kill him right now. I'm gonna use stopwatch. There's a chance that'll work. And if it doesn't work, there's a chance that he'll miss me because of the fog. If both of those things don't work, then I'm dead. And there's no going around that. Um, if I survive, then on my next turn, I can use trial stew followed by supernova and it's over. So it all comes down to if stopwatch or the fog will take him out. And if stopwatch works, then I don't even have to use the trial stew. I can just, use, I can just attack him as normal. Um, so yeah, we're gonna use stopwatch. Let's just... This has worked for me on a previous attempt, so 30%. <laughs> you guys, you guys. He's stopped with his charge and we just won. As long as nobody throws anything at me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not risking that. It was, yep, it was bad. If I see that X button, I'm hitting it immediately. Okay. Well, let's see. He has 12 health. Um, I could certainly use Trial Stew followed by Supernova. I'd rather save the Trial Stew, though. I know you guys are probably like, Joe Pro, don't risk it. I know I could finish him now, but I'm being greedy. So let me just think if there's a way for me to take him out now. Hammer, after his defense, will do four. He's going to be asleep for this attack and the next attack. Yeah, I can definitely take him out. This will be fine. Um, so I'll go ahead and use hammer now. Plus I might be able to save up enough for art attack even. Um, okay, so that was four. Could I switch her to someone better? Yeah, Miss Mouse. Because uh, Vivian probably won't... No, Vivian should be all right. Let's use Vivian. All right, that's five plus a burn, which is six. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. That was too close. We're finishing this off right now. Uh, he should have six health left. I was gonna hammer him and then hit him with Vivian again, but I don't even wanna be alive. I mean, I just wanna get out of there. Of course, this isn't really working. Why did I use Art Attack? Why didn't I use Earth Tremor? He's too hard to circle. Crap, I might have messed this up. It's all right. That was still four, which means my hammer right here should kill him. Goodbye. Gloomtail, nice knowing ya. You're dead. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. 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 I'm sorry, guys. I panicked and I used Art Attack, which was a stupid idea, but I, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> because I just wanted to get done. I just didn't want to keep fighting because Vivian had just died. I just got, I got scared and I, I, I couldn't keep going. Oh, but 
But the guy threw a rock. I was looking down at how much damage I had done on my piece of paper, and the guy threw a rock. And if it had hit Mario, I would have rage quit, and the series would have ended, I swear. I, it, it would have ended. There's no way I would have played after that. Okay, so... Um, between episodes, I'm gonna have to go back and get some more stuff, uh, more items for the next battle, but I am happy that I only used one of my three trial stews, one of the two that I was holding, and I used four booze sheets, so I, it wasn't too bad. Got really lucky with that stopwatch, that basically saved me, and, um, yeah. So I'm gonna go back and take a nap in a nice bed, and I'm gonna get some items, and then on the next episode, we will be continuing the Palace of Shadow and fighting Duplis and the Shadow Sirens. So if you want to come back and see how that is uh, probably going miserably for me, then I will see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching, and see you later. Bye-bye.